Welcome to the Pigtown Cooking Demo Series in association with the Local Enterprise Office. In the wonderful Limerick Milk Market. So good morning, we're here with Chef Michael Tweedy from the Adair Manor, the Oak Room. And we're kicking off the Pigtown Culture and Food Series cooking demos in the milk market. So Mike, what have we got today? Uh, so Tom, today, well first of all, great to be back finally, after a long time. So today we got a, um, a ravioli a crab. Uh, so the crab is from Doombeg, uh, with some grapefruit and a lemongrass bisque. Um, and then we're also going to cook a turbot. Um, with some, we're going to make a little braisage, a really quick sauce, and we serve that some salt baked celeriac, circular, and a bit of uh, black Australian truffle. Right, so dish number two is a uh, turbot with some salt baked celeriac, truffle, um, and then with a, little, with a little braisage sauce. So what we have here is we have the turbot, my eyes, uh, the queen of the sea. We always pretty much have turbot on the menu. We always get it in whole. Um, so there's, we, we serve it a couple of different ways in the restaurant. What we do is sometimes we leave it on the bone. So what we do is we, we portion it, for, we basically, instead of taking the fillets off, we leave it on the bone and what that does is just gives it and we brine it sorry and then what we do is then we just roast it and then finish it on the barbecue what that does is just it just, just makes it really gelatinous and it's really a good way of cooking fish is on the bone i really enjoy it anyway uh, but today what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to take it off the bone and we're going to braise it all right so so we're just going to start by we're just going to take the top fillet off all right All right, make sure when you fill it in fish, nice sharp knife, your fish is always dry. So you're trying to, you know, you're trying to fill it a slippery fish, it's never that good, all right? So we just go down the backbone, okay? And we literally just gonna take the fillets off, okay? So that's one fillet, all right? Just gonna take the top two fillets off today, all right? So. Turn the fish around. This is now listen, there's a hundred different ways of filling a fish. Everyone has their own preference. This is the way I was taught, and this is the way I've always done it. So I go back over the, the other bone. Alright. Down here. Alright. And then going over that backbone. And just following the Okay, and off, that quick, all right? So, that's one fish done, all right? So, I'm just gonna put this to the side for the minute. We're gonna do is skin it now, okay? So, I just like to make sure that's the way. Okay, so there. I try and keep a bit of the fat on. So like when you're doing like say like uh, like cod or something like that, you want to remove the fat. Um, but for turbot, we leave it there. So you've got a nice clean fillet, okay? That's one. The bigger ones are always slightly tr trickier. So that fish is probably about it's a probably a two two to three kilo fish. All right. We're just going to trim this up nicely. All right. So, I'm going to make two nice pieces, all right? So we have nice fish. So we're probably going to go about this today, okay? So this, again, is part of the tasting menu for us. We're tasting menu only, so um, obviously our portions look a lot smaller than most people realise, so put that away. So, it's our turbot pieces for the portion, alright? So, I'm just going to set that aside for the time being. 
get rid of this. Bit white down. So now we need to start the sauce, okay? So the sauce is a brazage. So in here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat down. We're gonna sweat down some um, butter. We got some shallots, garlic, some thyme, and a bit of fish stock. Really, this needs to be made in advance to let it cool and let the, uh, the flavor develop. So you can see here, this is actually one that we prepared yesterday. So we don't, because we're going to poach the fish on this, we don't want it to be hot because I start cooking the fish. So this one we've already prepared. So you can see all the butter, the, the thyme, uh, the fish stock and everything in there. So what we do, so we just leave it all like that. And then what we do is we strain this off and then we make a sauce from all that. So you get all the, all the flavor from the turbot uh, and it just makes a really lovely buttery sauce. I'm just gonna monte it with a bit of butter so it's really buttery. All right, so we just keep that aside a minute. Then what else we have is we actually have a celeric puree. So the celeric puree is literally a very basic thing. Um, celeric peeled, chopped, and then what we do is take milk and cream and a bit of water and then we just cook it uh, for about half an hour, 45 minutes until the slag's really soft. And then we just puree it in a high blender, okay? Uh, so, shallots. So just chop some shallots. All right, shallots. Some mushrooms, just button mushrooms, any you can use, you could use chestnut mushrooms, I guess, but we just use button, I prefer the flavor. All right, take a little clove of garlic. Skin on and everything, all right. We don't want to cook this with any color, okay? So we don't want any color on this, any of this. So put that in there. Pinch of salt to help break down everything. So while that's cooking down, we'll I'll show you the celeriac and the truffle. So, um, so what we have here is we have some Australian truffles that we preserved. So uh, they're actually out of season now. So what we do is we just preserve them in a bit of Madeira, and all we've done is just chopped them up. So this will go through our sauce. Um, we always use Australian truffles when they're in season. Then we just, we, we use them for lots of different things. Shaving, we make an ice cream with them. So there's, there's loads of different, um, different things we can do with it. So just give this a little stir. All right, so, and then this, we wouldn't have had the time to show this. So this is salt baked celeriac. Uh, so what we do is we make a salt dough with salt, flour, thyme. Uh, then we wrap it around the celeriac and we cook it to, we probe, put a probe in there and we cook it to about 90 degrees. Um, and then we let it cool in its, its own crust and then we just remove the crust. We just peel it. And all we're gonna do today is just make a little dice basically. So we're just gonna just make some nice uh, Brumoise to go through the to go through the sauce. And then what to finish this dish we have some scallops, okay? So again, the scallops is from um, CS fish. Well, we get them in from Scotland um, and we get the XLs in the shell and then we open them. Uh, so we're just going to do a little dice. It's enough for one portion. All right. Just put that into a clean pot. 
some truffle in there as well. Right, so once this is sweated down, we add the fish stock and the noddy prat and we just bring it to the boil and uh, cook it out. And then we leave it, cling film it. So, put that in. Uh, so we'll bring that back to the boil now. We'll cling film it, leave it overnight, and then we'll pass off or we'll leave it like that for the braising. So we have that, and then we have the scallops. So again, like I said, these scallops are, are taken out of their shell. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dice these um, nice and big. All right. So we're gonna leave these really chunky, yeah? Uh, and we're not gonna put it in there because we don't want the scallops. The scallops are gonna take seconds to cook this size, all right? Okay. Just get a little tray for them. So, put that in there. Put them in the fridge till we need them. So that's our sauce ready, okay? There's no, until, so you wanna be making this a day in advance, really, okay? A lot of this you can make a day in advance, like the celeric puree, you can make the salt baked celeric all in advance, all right? So we just leave that aside. And obviously this is our finished article. So that's the one for the cooking of the fish. And then I have a little one here, which we're just gonna monte with some butter and finish some lemon juice. So. So we're gonna bring this up to the, to the heat. We're gonna take our fish we have. We're gonna season it, okay. All right. So once this is up to the boil, we're gonna um, just place the fish on and then we're gonna pop it in the oven, okay? Just a little wipe down. And don't be scared, so you don't have, to, like the fish is not gonna take ages. It's gonna take about four minutes in the oven, okay? And we're gonna treat it a little bit like meat. We're gonna let it rest for a minute or so just to, to retain all them juices, okay? So just don't go mad with seasoning. Um, we just wanna lightly season it because this is obviously already seasoned. So I have the oven set at 180, okay? This is a really quick, once you have everything done, like, like, like I said, the set puree and the salt bake, it's really easy to have this, all the mise en place done, ready to go, um, to put together. It's, 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 it's a very simple dish to dress together, really. So sit the fish just nestle that fish in and make sure you're not cooking your fish from the fridge okay bring it out for a little bit just to room up um, because you don't want to cook your fish will just you don't want to shock it to the system you just want to bring it gently to the heat okay all right so just make sure they're not sticking all right just give it a little just Okay, so now it's gonna go in the oven, okay? So while we're waiting for that, we might as well monte up our sauce, if I can find my whisk. Set up a little board. Mm -hmm. 
So like this dish can be done with, with cod if you really want it, or monkfish, uh, pollock. Pollock's a great alternative if you can't find um, if you can't find any prime fish. Uh, very underused underused fish pollock. Um, and like I said, there's all, you can do lots of different things. You don't have to use scallops. You can use you could use caviar. If you don't want to use celeriac, you can use uh, leek uh, or salmon roe or trout roe or something like that. And it's a very versatile way of this sauce. is very versatile. Okay. So start by adding some butter, and then we're just going to whisk that in. And it's good for dietaries as well. This sauce can be done dairy free. Um, it doesn't have to be done with fish stock. It can be done without, it can just be done with water. So we can use it as a vegetarian dish, you know, even with a, a salt baked celeriac by itself. Uh, so it's very versatile in terms of the sort the base of the sauce can be done however you want. All right, so we're just gonna whisk that. and it should start slowly thickening up, okay? Just gonna check the fish. Lovely. And a bit more butter. So before we add all the celeriac and that, we're just going to pass it off. Any, any bits and pieces in there, we we'll just get rid of. All right. Just slowly starting to thicken up. You don't want to boil it. You boil it, it will split. But if you don't have it hot enough, it's going to go, it'll go cold, okay? It will go cold and, it, and then when you try to reheat, it won't come back, all right? And take it off the heat, it's getting a bit warm there. So we add a bit more. Should be the last bit of butter now. So this sauce goes a long way, it's a little goes a long way, all right, because you're just adding more and more butter to do it, all right. And this will last a couple of days in the fridge. It, you know, it will last five days in the fridge as well. Not monted, but like finished. All right, pretty much there now. So I'm pass a little bit off. Don't need too much to get rid of that. Okay. We're gonna add our celeriac and our truffle. All right, I'm just gonna warm that through really gentle, okay? Again, you don't wanna be boiling your sauce, you're just warming everything through, all right? Let's have a little look at the fish. Have a minute and we're there. So like I said, we're gonna finish with a scallop very last minute, okay? Get our plate. So puree is hot, sauce is hot. Let's check the seasoning. Pinch of salt. So there's your fish, okay? So we're just gonna let that rest now, okay? Give it a little baste. Let's 
a little base. So just give that a minute rest. Feel it. Lovely. And if you want to check, you can always just put a little skewer through it. And if the skewer goes through with no resistance, then it's ready, okay? Again, like I said, you don't want to be overcooking your fish. You want to make sure it's nice. It's, it still has a little bit of uh, rawness to it because residual heat will finish it, okay? So we're going to carve our turb up a little bit. My plate's a lot smaller, so I'm just going to give it another little base. So, finish of our scallop. Once the scallop's in, you've got about 30 seconds, okay? It doesn't need to be, um, again, it doesn't, you don't want to be cooking it loads, okay? So, take our fish out while our fish sauce is finishing. Okay. I'm just going to trim mine up a little bit just to make sure it fits my plate. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Okay. So, how uh, we're going to dress this? So we're going to dress it with. We're going to start by the celeriac puree. Little drop quenelle. Trying to just drop it on the plate like I did. So fish, we're just going to finish it with a tiny bit of rock salt and a bit of lime if I can find where I put it. And I've got my lime. <laughs> nope, can't find my lime. So, serve it in the plate and then literally all we're going to do is nappe over the sauce and the celeriac. This is a real winter dish, like real comfort food for me. All right, there's no frills with this. It's just a really nice piece of fish. All right. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the, uh, the turbot, braised turbot with a braisage scallop uh, and Australian truffle and celeriac. All right. So thank you for joining us. And thank you, especially to our chefs, for taking part in this chef demo series at the Limerick Milk Market. Our sponsors, I have to say a big thank you to, because we couldn't do this without you. And um, we hope you enjoyed it. Look for the other videos on our YouTube channel. Follow us on our other social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and please check out pigtown.ie, where you'll find out all about Limerick Food Group, Pigtown, and everything else that we do. Thanks.